scoring above 13 and but not higher like the price was here in um, beginning of March um, or end of March, we had reached the last time $17. So it's called, um, if I do this with an option strategy, it's called debit call spread. I buy a $13 um, option and I sell a $17 um, options. And with these two strike prices, I will tell you now exactly what is your chance and risk profile. And we will do the same if you want to trade it like a little bit more, um, I would like to say conservative or like um, not so aggressive. Um, we can also do the same where we say, for example, the price of American airline will not drop below $9. And um, just to make sure if there's um, yeah a big change or a big fall in the price of American airline, um, we will have, a, yeah, I call it airbag at $7 that we don't lose um, too much. That's called credit spread. In this case, credit put spread. Um, you can already see here the two prices, nine and seven dollar. Even it's not exactly um, this uh, price in our horizontal lines. It just um, I just put it to explain explain you the details. Okay, let's go to um, what we said. Um, how to set up <clears throat> this strategy and how to calculate the uh, correct um, risk uh, profile, chance uh, risk uh, analysis. Um, the first example, what we said is, uh, I expect uh, a price increase above $13 and maximum will be 17. So I create an option strategy here. I will put it um, July, so it's 46 days till expiration. So I buy the call for $13 and I will sell it um, on $17. So here, I don't know if you can read it. Uh, it's a bull spread, so actually a debit bull, uh, debit call spread, what is also called a bull spread. And um, the Trader Workstation will always show you the chance risk profile. So, for example, we have um, maximum loss of um, one second of sixty-five dollars. And maximum return of three hundred and thirty-five dollars. And then you just have to set this, um, um, yeah, so that you can calculate uh, um, it like from one to four. It will be exactly, not exactly, but approximately. If your risk is, um, yeah, we can get a price maybe a bit cheaper, sixty dollars. You will um, gain three hundred forty dollars. So it's. Six six dollar to two hundred forty. So it's actually something um, like yeah, one to five, one to six. Um, so it's a very good chance risk uh, profile. And how can we calculate this? So how uh, from where we got these numbers? It's normally pretty easy because your maximum profit is um, always the difference between the two strike prices. So if you calculate uh, 17 multiplied uh, minus uh, 13, you have a maximum profit of $4. And this 340 is um, yeah, multiplied, my, um, multiplied by 100. So uh, you just have to minus it with the debit you have to invest for the spread. That's why it's called debit spread. We have to invest something, and the investment at the moment you can see the bid price is um, three cents, and the ask price is 65. That's why I said we normally get a better execution. What will be 60 cents? So our maximum profit is difference between two strike prices. What is four dollar minus 60 cents? So we have 340 dollar maximum profit. And our maximum loss is only what we invested here in the debit spread. So it's a very good um, chance risk um, ratio. The only thing is if it's not going up to minimum $13, you will lose your whole investment, in this case, the 60 cents. And if I say 60 cents, I think, um, as I said it earlier, it's always multiplied by 100 um, because one option is equal to 100 shares. So everything what you see here as a price is uh, multiplied by by 100 if you do it in a real position. So I think this is um, yeah pretty easy, pretty simple. It's a good uh, chance risk uh, profile and uh, it makes you 
well, easily calculate uh, what what's the maximum you can lose because uh, as we told you earlier if i buy 100 shares of american airline in um, in theory i can lose everything what i invested if american uh, airlines going bankrupt um, but if with my debit spread it's just a 60 cents um yeah 60 dollars so the risk is really lower profit yeah depending if um, american airline will go up to 20 dollars yeah, i will not have a um, bigger profit than in my um, equity position and you have to calculate also the um, time value what is uh, related to the expiration date of july um so like like I said in the beginning, there's always an advantage and a disadvantage. Um, what makes it um, um, good for comparing which uh, um, strategies might be better for you if you're just a um, normal um, stock trader. Uh, we will see the last point with covered call and put writing what might be also bringing a benefit to your, to your normal um, stock portfolio and for the profile you can exactly normally see let's we selected july so you can see um which price and which is your profit and loss um with the date here selected for the for the last day it will be easy my maximum loss will be um as long as the price is not reaching this 13 dollars my strike price and my break-even is also easy to calculate. It's always the strike price plus your um, debit, what you paid. So we just make to need to make sure that the price is on the last day of the expiration on minimum strike price of my long position plus uh, the premium I paid or the debit I paid. In this um, example, it's 60 cents. So everything above $13 and 60 cents uh, will generate a profit. The earlier it will reach this, the earlier um, I will go also in profit um, or can even close the position with a profit because hold it to the expiration date. It's just the last day where you can trade this um, and then it, um, there will be expiration or option assignment where you get the, um, the stocks which you um, had the right to buy for a certain strike price here. And the opposite, the credit spread, just to make this example on the other hand side, this was debit spread. And the last thing I want to show you was um, credit spread with the $9 and um, what else did we say? Seven. So in this case, it's a debit credit put spread where we say the price will not drop under nine we are selling this option and just for safety reasons we will buy the 70 a seven dollar put so for this i will get a credit because now it's a credit spread i'm selling um, um first an um, option what is the put option for nine dollar and i buy the put option for seven dollar just in case it will drop like um below seven i don't lose more then this difference um, between these two strike prices. It's the same, same example, just the opposite what we did in the debit spread. Now my maximum risk is the difference between uh, two strike prices. So nine minus seven is two. And I get a credit for this, what is actually 50 cents. So I deducted this 50 cents for my maximum loss. So my maximum loss in any case, even American Airlines is go, going down to $1 to zero, whatever, I can only lose $1.50. So my chance risk uh, ratio is one to three because for getting $1, I have to risk $3. Um, but only if it's really going that low that it's below $7. And from the probability side, yeah, credit spreads uh, or in general, 75% of all options are expiring with any value. So with credit spreads, you might have a really um, high probability to get like a, um, a positive um, um, trade with some, some income. And that's normally um, a good way to have like um, really a secured position where you can um, wait till the end of the expiration date, as long as it's um, above $9 nothing will happen and for you it doesn't matter now the price is at 11 it can do go down to 10 you will still have your same credit it will go down to um 950 you still have 100 percent of your credit and this is here the chance risk um 
performance graph, the same what we had um, earlier for the debit spread. You can also select here different um, times to see um, how the time value, for example, will change in this uh, graph. But mainly the um, line with the dots, it's uh, how it's changing if the price changes um, today. And the other one is uh, like the last day of the expiration. And here you say, uh, see exactly what I was telling you. Um, they put 45 um, cents because they normally always choose the bid price. So we get a little bit better um, entry price. It's $50 and maximum loss is 150. So one to three is our chance risk uh, ratio. And yeah, it makes it also very easy. You can also see some um, profit and loss numbers here in the screen below. So it will give you normally all the information if you set up a strategy um, order here in the option trader. And here's what I told you, the middle price, yeah, maybe $48 is uh, 48 cents, um, what we will get for this. So mainly this was a very short overview about debit credit spreads and uh, chance risk um, ratio. Another thing what I want to show you is um, yeah, open interest and um, implied volatility. I told you the implied volatility, I hope you can see it here with my uh, second with my mouse. It's 100% for, yeah, here you can see it, implied volatility 100%. So it means because the stock was uh, moving crazy the last days, it was went up 10% and it went down 7% another day. So this is um, what makes the options, uh, the price for the options a little bit more expensive. And normally if you have a very high implied, implied volatility, you normally select like uh, normal credit spreads to collect credits to um, get a premium. And if the implied volatility is below 50 or sometimes you will find it also with some um, it's below 40, it's better to yeah, select debit spreads or to be on the long position side where you buy options. Um, because from a high price, always if you sell it, you will participate from a higher price. And if it's considered as cheap, you should uh, be on the buy side. So implied volatility, it's also information what you find here in your option trader. And open interest um, is this field what we see here. And it will help you um, to understand 